LSI lab. So here uh, we will going to see how to generate the synthesis report. Okay, so and from that how to see its memory consumption and timing analysis all those information. So whenever you have any of the Verilog code, okay, so uh, just write that Verilog code uh, in the new project and here uh, if you have the test bench, remove that test bench, delete that test bench. So for example, uh, if we have, okay, so for example, if I have the test bench like this, okay, so if I have the test bench like this, now you can see this is now test bench. So this is the test bench JK flip-flop TB. Just right click on this and remove, okay, then click yes. So the test bench is removed. Now this JK flip-flop, JK flip-flop dot V. So only the uh, Verilog file we need to have and go to the implementation and click synthesis. Okay. Click on this, uh, double click on this or right click on this and run, click run. Okay. Then it will take some time to uh, create the report. So just click here. Okay. So here you can just rerun and uh, or okay so then uh, so after that so right click on this okay synthesis right click on this view text report click view text report this synthesis report will appear uh, automatically uh, if you if you are running this for the first time otherwise you just need to right click on this and view text report okay so then this is that synthesis report so it contains of all this information we can see synthesis option summary and clock information timing summary and uh, device utilization partition resource and uh, uh, okay so all this information it contains so here uh, we need to uh, just okay just see the here um, this is uh, uh, device utilization so from here okay device utilization memory so this is the memory usage how much memory registers all these things and then is the timing report okay so here is that timing report and all these uh, we can get it from here okay i hope you understood this thank you